Well, hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to be talking about this month's production. I finally have some data, majority of data, for a month of April. And right now, it's early morning, and I'm going to do an inspection for the month of April on the solar array and see how's it doing. Make sure everything's nice and tight, just the way I installed it and we'll go inside and talk about the numbers and production for this month. In addition to that, we're going to take a look into the uh, um, inside of a LV5048. I packaged them. I decided, okay, I can't sell them locally. I'll try to uh, ship them out to whoever wants them. So let's go take a look. Panels are doing fine. They've been washed off pretty good. There's some dirt on them, but I don't really care that much. They produce power just the way they are designed to do. I don't think I'm going to spend that much time on them, trying to clean them, keep them clean. There's some bird droppings and whatnot, but they normally get washed off by the rain. We didn't have that much rain in the month of April. And so far, everything looks nice and tight on this side. Let's go take a look at the back side. Combiner box or the box where all the cables come in and they transition into the cable that needs to go underground, which would be a THWN-2 cable. It's doing fine, nothing funny about it. Everything looks good. All the connections look good so far and I don't see anything that could be concerning in regards to backside of the solar array everything looks fine so far there's some spider webs but that's to be expected no reason to change anything All right, let's go inside and discuss the numbers. Update on the Mustang. So far has been good, beautiful, perfect, the best. I might eat those words later, but okay. It has been charged only by solar energy. It is still a DC fast charging version. I want to keep it like that as long as possible it's over 500 miles I charge it on a daily basis it's plugged in right now but it's not charging I charge it normally overnight I dump some energy out of the uh, power walls since the car is being used throughout the day Okay, here we are at the numbers. We're looking at the smart shunt uh, data at this moment. Um, so far, for this past month, I have charged 607 kilowatt hours into my power walls. Currently, state of charge is 42.6. I did not manage to charge a power wall fully yesterday due to cloudy day. You will see that a little bit later, or I think you might see it even before this. So uh, right now it says time since last full charge was 1.66 days. Uh, last discharge since fully charged was 808 amp hours so far. Uh, consumed amp hours since last night when the charging finished was 619. That is due to me dumping energy into the car overnight starting at 1 a.m. charging the car for another 10% or so. Uh, over here we got display of how much time remaining in the power walls at the current discharge which is at 51.81 amps. Uh, that number changes depending on the load of course. Uh, current power voltage is 52.12. Now for the month of April 
I had 13 days with the core and 17 days without the core. The average daily consumption for 17 days of April without the core was 30.05 kilowatt hours per day. With 13 days with the core, the average daily consumption was 44.01 kilowatt hours per day. That comes up to about 46% more with the car, which is to be expected. Total monthly production of the solar array for April was 1,082.98 kilowatt hours or 1.083 megawatt hours. Uh, interesting here is that the system for the month of April was capable of producing more. However, uh, I have I have many hours of the day of the production time where the system does absolutely nothing. So judging by this and judging by my discharges when charging the car overnight, which I started doing right now. Uh, is that I need more battery storage. How are we going to get there and what kind of batteries I'm going to use and what kind of a setup I'm going to have, I have not decided yet. But those are the numbers. In short, 1.08 megawatt hours produced. Um, average daily consumption without the car was 30 kilowatt hours per day and with the car, 44 kilowatt hours per day. Not a bad numbers, just need more storage. The storage is not adequate for my system uh, with this with this size of the power wall. So uh, it's a bit oversized to the power wall that I have. I think a 90 to a 100 kilowatt hour power wall would be the best for the solar array size that I have so we can get through those bad bad times, bad days of the winter winter months. So in conclusion, this is what it is. You see it here on the smart shunt. I just want to show uh, one more graph over here and I want to show you the last day of the month of April. Um, this is what, oh this is the wrong month. Sorry about that. So we will go back to April. Let's apply data. This is what it looks like with those cloudy days that you see in a video previously. Yesterday, even with all those clouds, I managed to produce 46.17 kilowatt hours. Um, nothing more to report. Continue video with stuff in regards to LB5048s and what I think will be the last days with me owning them. Just a quick look inside of LB5048. Here are the grounds. I don't know, there's always some kind of questions about grounds over here. What I see on the grounds is that both Input and output ground are on the same place. Grounded to the case. I don't see them go to the boards. I don't know are the control boards grounded anywhere to the case. That's something I cannot investigate at this time. However, they stay clean inside very nicely thanks to that filter up there. Up there. And I cleaned that filter once in a year and a half of this operation of this uh, LV5048. And this is the unit, let's see, 45. Short video, this is how it looks inside. I opened it up, I want to take a look at something. Actually. I wanted to replace this screw up in here, which I did. It's not the same color as this one, but it's been replaced. Took a look inside. 
these are connector blocks to each and they have their own screws right there that hold them here too so I think it's going to be fine whoever is the going to be a lucky owner of this unit here they are same for PV inputs and it is two twenty five hundred inverters inside dual everything all right boys and girls here they are packaged they are ready to ship I couldn't find anybody here locally I thought LNX Pro would buy one at least however I haven't I haven't heard from him so I'm packing them and I'm using a phone from Home Depot since I don't have original boxes this is how it's going to come it's going to have top covers too uh, and uh, hopefully it gets undamaged to whoever gets them somebody from Tennessee wanted them I'll once I'm done packing I'll update on the video so here it is you get all three cables current, current carrying cable if you're gonna have two parallel cable if you're gonna have two and the communication cable if you want to hook it up to your computer and of course uh, concrete anchors manual and a CD and it will go in like this and it's coming to you here they are all three packed exactly the same they are ready to go